Cristiano Ronaldo has won absolutely everything in his career. From the Euros to the Champions League to the Ballon d'Or. However, there has always been one trophy that has escaped him that has put a damper on his legacy. And that trophy is the World Cup. We have one goal in this video and that is to win the World Cup with Ronaldo. Although, as he is currently playing in Saudi at the age of 39, we have four crucial steps to make this a reality. Step number one is to play extremely well in Saudi Arabia, leading to step number two, which is to get a move back to a big club in Europe. Step number three is to impress in Europe enough to get called up to the national team. And step four is to win the World Cup. Of course, starting season one, Cristiano Ronaldo at an 86 overall, playing for Al Nasser. All we have to do this season is just play extremely well, hopefully bag a couple trophies. And we are going to need to get that rating up a bit if we can, so training it is for Ronaldo. Starting the season off, and of course Cristiano Ronaldo looking to impress, although we did find ourselves going 1-0 down here with Al Nasser, as they did manage to tuck a goal right into the bottom corner, and there was no chance for the keeper. Ronaldo though looking to fire back, as he did manage to get a free kick as he stepped up, Unfortunately, it was saved by the keeper onto the crossbar. Although we did get very lucky as Ronaldo did manage to get a penalty. He stepped up and he slots it down the middle, of course, to equalise at 1-1. And just to add to it, of course, we've got another penalty which Ronaldo slotted yet again. This time into the top left-hand corner to get the 2-1 win. Moving on though, and we are into the quarter-final of the Asia Continental Cup where we did win the first game 3-1 with two goals coming from Ronaldo. And in the reverse fixture, we do beat them again 2-0. Four games into the season and Al Nasser are currently leading the way, having won four games from four. And Cristiano Ronaldo doing exceptionally well. In nine games, he has nine goals and two assists. So a very, very good start for Ronaldo. Semi-final of the Asia Cup and we are up against Al Shabab, And it's a draw coming in at 2-2. Of course, Ronaldo scoring a brace yet again. Although in the reverse fixture, we do batter them 3-0. Sadio Mane scoring a hat-trick. And that means, of course, we are into the final of the Asia Cup up against Al Itihad. And of course, it is Ronaldo versus Benzema who is going to come off on top. As we did start off very well, Talisca over to Ronaldo. And Ronaldo slots at home, of course, to make it 1-0 and a very good start. They did fire straight back, though, as Benzema did link to Diaby. And Diaby did slot it into that corner to make it 1-1. And we did get a penalty, though, which Ronaldo stepped up. But he nope. did get saved this time, unfortunately. Although Sadio Mane did make it 2-1 with this. I don't know how we got the goal off, but he did. And that was the start of a demolition as Mane did whip it back post to Ronaldo who did, of course, make it a 3-1 with a brilliant looping header into the back post. Just to top it off, Ronaldo did end up scoring a penalty in this game, of which did make it 4-1. And that does, of course, mean we did walk away with the Asia Cup trophy. Whoa, 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 hold up. You haven't liked the video yet. You also haven't subscribed. So please, make sure you do that, or I will get Hasbullah on the case. <laughs> Halfway through the season now though, and Al Nasser are still leading the way on 39 points. Al Hilal behind them though on 32 points. And Cristiano Ronaldo, despite being 39, has got up to an 87 overall, scoring 18 goals with 5 assists in 24 games. Overall, a very, very impressive season so far for Ronaldo. We have come down to the last game of the season, and Al Hilal have indeed caught up with us. They were on 73 points, we are on 72. We have to win here and Al Hilal have to lose for us to win the trophy. And we did face Al Shabab again, although there was only one goal in it and that was a goal from Cristiano Ronaldo in the 56th minute, which he did slot home to get a 1-0 victory for Al Nasser. Unfortunately though, it was not enough as Al Hilal did win the game and they did win the league just by one point. We did, of course, though, walk away with the Asia Cup trophy. And it's been a very impressive season so far for a 40-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo as he is up to an 89 overall and getting 28 goal contributions in 43 games. And it has paid off massively as Cristiano Ronaldo's former club, Juventus, has offered us a contract. And of course, season two starts off with Cristiano Ronaldo earning his move back to a big club in Europe and it is his former club in Juventus. Cristiano Ronaldo's first game back at Juventus went extremely well as there was only one goal separating the two teams and it was from Ronaldo with a great ball from Cooper Miners, but Ronaldo did tuck it home 
to score the winner here against AC Milan and what a goal it was as Cristiano Ronaldo does his signature celebration and of course it was just Ronaldo scoring that one goal in that game. Ronaldo getting some applaud on media as well which is what you love to see and Cristiano Ronaldo returns to the Champions League as we do face Ajax. But Cristiano Ronaldo started off as if he never left as he did score a header into the far corner against Ajax and he did end up getting another penalty which of course Ronaldo did slot home to make it 2-0 and of course coming away with a brace in his return to the Champions League and the game did end 2-0 of course Ronaldo scoring both of them and Ronaldo picking up the man of the match in that game as well and not only that Ronaldo comes away with a player of the month in just his first month at Juventus halfway through the season and Juventus are currently leading the way on 45 points the Champions League is also going pretty well as Juventus are sat in fifth place Cristiano Ronaldo still 40 years old however he is up to a 90 overall now absolutely set in the world on fire at the minute 19 goals and 8 assists in 27 games for Ronaldo but it seems that there's still more to come into the semi-final of the Super Cup and we are up against Atalanta and we did end up beating them 2-1 two goals coming from Timothy Weyer and that of course means we are into the final and we are up against Roma and it was of course another Cristiano Ronaldo masterclass as he did score in literally just the first minute making it 1-0 for Juventus in a very great start and in the 67th minute Timothy Ware chips the ball over to Ronaldo and Ronaldo of course slots it home to make it 2-0 and it's another brace in an important game for Cristiano Ronaldo which of course means we do end up winning the Super Cup and it is another trophy for Cristiano Ronaldo into round 16 of the Champions League and we do face Leipzig and we do win the first leg away from home 2-0 and at home we beat them again 2-1 this time Ronaldo scoring two goals quarter final of the Champions League and we are facing Inter Milan and the first leg was a bit hectic but we did beat them 3-2 and in the second leg we do beat them again Ronaldo scoring making it 5-3 on aggregate into the semi-finals of the Champions League and we face Dortmund where we do lose though unfortunately 1-0 although Ronaldo came up very clutch at home scoring two goals to get us through 3-2 on aggregate one game left of the season and we are in the exact same position as we were last season in Saudi where we have to win and Inter has to lose for us to win the trophy. And we did have a very hard fixture as we did face third place Napoli and they had a very good chance with Ogerman there which would have been an unreal goal. Although we did hit them on the counter-attack of course with Cristiano Ronaldo who did manage to slot at home to score to make it 1-0 for Juventus. And that was the only goal that separated the two teams as we did end up winning 1-0. And it was thankfully enough to pick up the Serie A trophy as Cristiano Ronaldo lifts his third trophy of the video. Moving straight on though, and we are into the final of the Champions League against a team Cristiano Ronaldo knows extremely well, and that is Barcelona. Danny Olmo putting on some horrible pressure here, and he has won it back. Lewandowski goes for goal. It's a nice save though. Nice, Timothy Weir whip it in. Cristiano Ronaldo leaps, and what a goal that is from Ronaldo bringing back the goals from the old days of the massive vertical jumps and he makes it 1-0 for Juventus. Oh, this is horrible for Lewandowski just dribbling around into Frimpong but it's another great save. Cooper Miners is through here. He has got a chance. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Tries to slot it but it's a great save from the keeper. Nice. Cuito inside to Ronaldo. He's got another chance and it's saved again. Jack Grealish has got loads of space. It's way too much space but thankfully it's met by another save. Barcelona could have one last chance here as Frimpong Passes it through to Lewandowski, into Dybala. Back to Lewandowski, come on. Nice, thankfully that's a nice bit of defending. Just get it out of the pitch, that's all we need. And there we go, it's game over. And we have won the Champions League final for another time with Cristiano Ronaldo. The winning goal, of course, coming from a Cristiano Ronaldo header. And typically, with Cristiano Ronaldo comes trophies as he lifts his fourth of the video. End of the season though, and there is confirmation of Juventus winning the league. Thankfully, Inter Milan did draw their game, so we were destined for the title. We did also pick up the Super Cup, beating AS Roma 2-0. Unfortunately, though, we could not make it a quadruple as Inter Milan did win the Coppa Italia. And, of course, the trophy that made it the treble was arguably the biggest one so far, and that is the Champions League. Cristiano Ronaldo, though, walking away from that season, and he is back to his absolute best coming in at a 92 overall, having a total of 60 goal contributions in 60 games, 
coming in at a 92 overall. He is in peak, peak condition for the World Cup. And there we go, the news that we did want. We have been selected for Portugal for the World Cup. This is our opportunity. Kicking off the group stage and we are up against Scotland and we did beat them 2-1. Second game of the group stage and we are up against Denmark where we did of course get another win, this time 3-2. Although the last game of the group stage is a big one as we do face Messi's Argentina and it was just a 1-1 draw but Ronaldo did score. But that does mean we are through the group stage and into the round of 16 where we take on Poland and we did beat them 2-1 with Ronaldo scoring the winning goal into the quarterfinals and we have our hardest game yet as we face Germany but thankfully we do beat them 2-1 Paulinho scoring the winner and of course Ronaldo getting on the score sheet yet again into the semi-finals and we do face Mexico where we do completely batter them 3-0 which means we are of course into the final of the World Cup and we face Italy and we are being bring on as a substitute for Diego Jota and it is currently nil nil and if we do come on and make an impact here it is written perfectly well for Ronaldo. Brea could be through for Italy here he skins on man it's Brea goes for goal it's a good save from Costa though nice Bernardo Silva passes through to Ronaldo he just hasn't got the legs for it nice Patinha over to Ronaldo he's got a chance what an awful header though. Oh, nice. Italy have messed that header up. Bernardo Silva straight over to Ronaldo. Ronaldo has a chance, but it's another great save. Diego Dallo finds Ronaldo yet again. Ronaldo goes for goal, but it's another ridiculous save from the keeper. Oh, no. Into Milan with Fratesi. Thankfully, he's went for goal there. Nice. Ronaldo trying to find some man here. He dinks it over to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva has a chance. No, he doesn't. It's defended well. Fratesi has got way too much space here. He's got too many people in the box as well. It's gone to Di Lorenzo and he goes for goal. Thankfully, though, it's straight at the keeper. Di Lorenzo up here, passes back to Skamaka. That is a great ball through to Keane, but it's an awful shot and it's a great save. Fatinha has got space here. He's got Bernardo Silva out to his left. This is a great opportunity for Portugal. Bernardo Silva, he's got Ronaldo inside. Inside, oh my word, it's an unbelievable save. Rafael Leal has got space here. It's the 85th minute. He's got Ronaldo inside. He dinks it in. He finds him. Ronaldo, overhead kick. He, no, it's off both the posts. But Ronaldo picks it up and he slots it home to score to make it 1-0 for Portugal. It's the 86th minute. Surely that is going to be game over. And what a goal that was. Italy could have one last attack here. They are going through with Berea. He is dribbling through though. But it's an awful pass. And surely that is going to be game over. And there we go. It is. Cristiano Ronaldo has finally done it. And he has finally won the World Cup with Portugal at the age of 41 years old. Picking up the winner himself in the 87th minute. And there we go. It's the fifth trophy of the video. And it is by far the most important. It is the one Ronaldo has been begging for his whole career. And he has finally walked away with it. And just to top it off, after an insane season with Juventus winning the World Cup and getting a total of 60 goal contributions, Cristiano Ronaldo has walked away with a Ballon d'Or in what will be the last action of his career. As we can well and truly say, his legacy has been saved. <laughs>